championship. And you can tell who won it as you look out there and let you on there going absolutely mad. For decades, Six on Six was the breadwinner for the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. In 1975, girls basketball brought in nearly 80% of the union's total gross income. A few years later, the sport made enough revenue to support 15 others. While Texas, Tennessee, and Oklahoma have had longtime girls basketball programs, none has been continuous. Additionally, Iowa has held official state basketball tournaments for young women since 1920. In most other states, such events didn't get underway until the 1970s, some 50 years later. The crowd eagerly awaits the start of the championship game. Without a doubt, the crown jewel of the union was the annual girls' state basketball tournament. While always a favorite pastime of Iowans, under Cooley's reign, the finals became not only a night of basketball, but a really good show. Let the light shine. Players and fans alike relished the fanfare, from the flashy halftime shows to the pride-filled parade of champions. Mike Newell started doing play-by-play -play for girls basketball in 1966. The genius of Wayne Cooley, he couldn't guarantee a great basketball game. He couldn't guarantee um, that this favored team would be in the finals. They may get bumped off, but he could guarantee a good time. This is a celebration, Wayne Cooley and his staff are saying, a celebration of women's basketball. Come on down and experience it. The thing that made the girls' tournament so unusual was what I always called the marginal audience was a huge part of the audience, a big part of the audience. They're the people that bought the tickets so far in advance so they could have a seat. They didn't know who they were for and they didn't even care. They just wanted to be there. 